All of the news about the upcoming aircraft of all kinds and varieties are densely compressed in this video. We will show you futuristic VTOLs, all new luxury business jets, sustainable planes of tomorrow, and so much more. So if you are a fan of everything that flies, stick around till the end. Subscribe to Automotive Territory and enjoy your flight. Aviation Alice Israel's Aviation is likely to become the world's first company to deliver an all-electric business jet, and they've already collected $2 billion worth of pre-orders. The Alice has a 1,400-kilowatt dual turboprop propulsion system that was sourced from the industry's pioneer Magni X. It is the first FAR-23 category aircraft with fly-by-wire, fully electronic flight control system, complemented by touchscreen flight displays. Aviation plans to release their jet in three variants, a commuter with nine passenger capacity, luxurious and sustainable executive with six, and a regional cargo carrier with 2,500 pounds of payload. The Alice can cover up to 250 nautical miles in less than an hour, flying at 260 knots. This private jet is worth $4 million and is promised to have unbeatable direct operating cost of just $200 per hour, a figure at least five times lower than any other competitor can offer. Jet Racer Frank Zapata has realized that very few people can master his insane jet-powered flyboard. Therefore, his upcoming mass-market flyer is expected to be much more manageable. Despite being called a flying car, I would name this aircraft the world's first flying jet chair. Unlike the majority of modern VTOLs, this one creates lift with the help of 10 jet engines with multiple redundancies. The Jet Racer is built around a modular carbon chassis and has a small footprint of 7 by 6 feet. Zapata dares people to fly at the altitude of 10,000 feet and speeds up to 156 miles per hour. Operation can be done manually or fully autonomously, so loads up to 440 pounds can be delivered to remote locations, enabling both civilian and military use. Honda Aviation Jet Elite 2 Advertised as the brand's next-generation private jet, the Elite Second has been unveiled this October and has already received its type classification. The model replaces its Elite S predecessor, shares many of its features, but offers increased range and enhanced avionics. The jet can cover extra 111 nautical miles, 1,547 in total. It also has a higher gross weight of 11,000 pounds, carries more fuel, and offers 62 cubic feet of baggage space. Passengers can enjoy multicolor LED lighting, executive seats, and premium materials. The cabin features the latest Garmin G3000 avionics with intuitive human-machine interface, auto throttle, and emergency auto land. As before, the propulsion is supported by twin GE Honda Aero engines mounted over the wing. Lastly, for 2023, the Elite Second is offered in an exclusive Black Edition and Corporate Scheme Design livery. Archer In a short span of four years, Cali's Archer Aviation have managed to achieve multiple milestones. They've established certification bases for a passenger carrying electric VTOL with the FAA, entered into strategic partnership with United Airlines, Stellantis, and the U.S. Air Force, and most importantly, their maker prototype has completed multiple test flights with a transition from hover to full wingborne flight. The commercial VTOL from Archer will be called Midnight. It is a four-seater tilt-rotor flyer with 12 motors and propellers, vertically integrated 75-kilowatt-hour battery, and a lightweight composite structure. The Midnight has multiple operational redundancies like four flight computers and two altitude sensors. When in the air, it shall make just 45 decibel of noise and will cruise at 150 miles per hour at 2,000 feet. This aircraft is expected to be used for short back-to-back 20-mile -back flights with 10 minutes recharging. How do you like our videos dedicated to aircraft? If you want more, make sure to smash the like button and mention it in the comments section below. Simply say, I want more. Let's keep rolling. Gulfstream G800 Going further and flying faster than any Gulfstream manufactured before, 
the new G800 has been created for those days when every hour counts. The new jet relies on upgraded high-thrust Rolls-Royce Pearl 700 turbofan engines, which combined with advanced design wings and winglets, enable the G800 to cover almost 8,000 nautical miles at 0.85 Mach. Longer range comes with Ultra Comfort, industry-leading low cabin altitude, handcrafted ergonomic seats, new circadian lighting and plasma ionization clean air system which delivers 100% fresh, never recirculated air. The new G800 is currently offered in three floor plans, with three or four living spaces and passenger capacity from 15 to 19 people. Deliveries are scheduled to begin in 2023. Auto Solera 500L Since its first maiden flight in January 2018, the Solera 500L has performed over 50 test flights, bringing the future of ultra-low-cost private aid transportation closer. To reach 18 to 25 MPG fuel economy, which is nearly eight times better than a regular jet of the same size, the aircraft has been given a bullet shape that drastically reduces drag by channeling air smoothly over the surface. The laminar flow design is also applied on the wings, which have been additionally given ultra-long wingtips for lateral stability. Though playing a huge role in fuel economy, these innovations cannot make a difference without a proper source of propulsion. The new aircraft uses a single five-blade propeller that is located behind the cabin in a pusher configuration. When first commercial versions arrive in 2025, the mid-sized jet will be able to fly from coast to coast in the U.S. and carry six passengers. Regent Viceroy Sea Glider Regent aircraft have come to a conclusion that one of the ways to squeeze out more air miles from modern electric aircraft is to operate the Viceroy Sea Glider solely over water. This hybrid can traverse the seas with 12 passengers on board in line of three modes, hull, hydrofoil, or flight and ground effect. With the existing battery technology, it is expected to cover 160 nautical miles on a charge, cruising at the speed of 160 knots. The Viceroy flagship has fly-by-wire steering, synthetic vision, three-axis autopilot, and multiple awareness sensors like an IR camera, sonar, and a radar. This seafarer will use eight electric motors with five blade fans as sails, generating 30 decibel less noise when compared to a helicopter or a seaplane. Boom Overture the dream of sustainable supersonic future has not died with the Concorde program. Or at least, this is what the Colorado-based Boom Aerospace wants us to believe. The recently revealed production design has evolved to a compound modified Delta platform with goal wings and four so-called Symphony engines. These run on 100% sustainable aviation fuel, generate 35,000 pounds of thrust, have a passively cooled turbine and a single-stage fan which results in 25% lower operating costs and Chapter 14 noise levels. The Overture will fly at 65,000 feet with a cruise speed of 1.7 Mach, covering up to 4,250 nautical miles. Boom Overture has already collaborated with Northrop Grumman and U.S. Air Force to optimize the jet for military and government use. Plus, both American and Japanese airlines have expressed willingness to purchase Boom airliners. Airbus A321 XLR The A320 series has long been the primary choice aircraft for medium-range routes, for example, London to Warsaw. However, the all-new A321 XLR blurs the line between its single-aisle, narrow-body class and long-distance wide-body aircrafts. Based on the A321neo, it gets an additional rear fuel tank integrated directly into the fuselage. Thanks to the latter, the XLR is the longest range single aisle aircraft ever produced, covering up to 4,700 nautical miles. Another important fact is its improved efficiency. The aircraft will burn 30% less fuel per seat in comparison with the previous generation model. The plane will be offered in various configurations, including an all economy layout with 18 inch wide seats and 244 passengers, up to 24 live flat seats for premium class or even suites. Xpeng Aero HT Flying Car 
looking like a slightly more futuristic version of x pencs current autos, the Aero HT gets a revolutionary folding vertical takeoff and landing system mounted on its roof. It was demonstrated during x pencs annual 1024 Tech Day for the second year in a row. Instead of the two-rotor setup shown previously, the current prototype acquires a new multi-rotor configuration that ensures improved stability during flight. It is backed up by dual engines, which makes the Aero HT safer. According to x -Peng, their creation can be controlled via a steering wheel and a right-hand lever, while on the road, it will drive like any other car. This October, the model has successfully completed its maiden flight and the company plans to show its production invent version in 2024. How do you like the new generation of aircraft? What things excite you the most? Make sure to participate in the conversation below this video. Smash the like button and subscribe to Automotive Territory. We occasionally cover things that fly as well as anything else motorized. It's worth it. More informative content is on the screen. May the torque be with you.